again. Thank you for watching to Yoga and Fitness. I'm Laura Wilson. And today I thought I'd try something a little different, mainly because I have to. Um, I uh, managed to twist my foot a little too much the other day and I have a little fracture in a bone right here in my foot. So I thought, awesome opportunity to do some yoga for injury. So today we're gonna do yoga for an injured foot. So if you happen to have any kind of toe, foot, or ankle issues going on today, this will be the class for you. And if you don't have any of that going on, you can still join us here. So all I'm gonna leave is a mat and yourself, maybe a cushion if you are taking care of a lower extremity today. Um, I'm just gonna let my rest on the uh, floor today. Make sure to um, check the links in the description below and leave me some comments. Let me know if you like uh, this concept after we do it today. I thought this would be a good chance to show how we can adapt our yoga practice when we do have a particular part of our body that needs extra special attention. Anyway, let's go ahead and find our sit bones and lift ourselves up nice and tall through our spine. We're gonna start the same way we always do, seated. Um, you can take easy seat one or both legs out, whatever works for you. Now let's go ahead and close our eyes and just begin breathing into our belly. Allowing our body to relax a little more with each exhale. Let's find our three part breath. And if we are taking extra care of a part of our body, if we're feeling pain anywhere, let's inhale into that spot and exhale, let all pain, tension, whatever go. Inhale into it, exhale, let it go. Now let's go ahead and begin to move with our breath, inhaling up top, exhale, coming forward. I'm going to go ahead and switch my feet a little bit so it feels better. Let's go ahead and begin to take this side to side. So a regular full class today, just with a few modifications. Go ahead and inhale up and just take an easy twist. Inhale tall, exhale twist. Mm -hmm. Let's come back to center. We're going to take a few little shoulder rolls. We can work our upper body even while taking care of some part of our lower body. Let's switch directions. A good chance to take this to our neck. Check in here, shoulders relax. Dropping one ear and then the other. And again, just some easy twisting action here. See which side has your better view. All right, so let's activate our core a little bit. So again, taking care. And we'll start with legs here, or we can have both legs bent. I'm going to keep mine straight. Inhale up, exhale. Imagine you're going into a boat pose. And you can even put your feet up a little bit. I'm going to alternate. But if you want to lift both, go for it. back here and we'll find our full boat. So for me today, I'm going to take support at least under one leg and maybe both. And let's lower down, take our legs out wide and fold forward. So we can still work our core even while nursing and foot injury. Let's lift up. Try to get both. They're in the air. This actually feels pretty good getting it elevated. Lower down, 
carefully. Take this forward. We're going to do that one more time. And this time, maybe it's straighten our legs again. The elevation actually feels really good, drawing some fluid and maybe a little swelling out of my foot. Of course, you can do this without holding on. Let's go ahead and lower down one more time, take it wide. So let's bring our legs together. We're going to very carefully come around the hands and knees, I think. And we're actually just going to go ahead and do a few push-ups. We can still work our upper body. And as you see, I've got feet in the air. If you want to do this from your toes, do full push-ups, go for it. We're just going to do a few push-ups here. And then we can take downward dog, child's pose, or puppy. And again, I'm just letting my foot elevate in the air a little bit. Going to do a little bit more. And we can lower down. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my knees bent so my feet again get a little bit of elevation, releasing some of that swelling. And just inhale up, exhale down. You by all means can keep your feet on the floor because this is a little more intense. Woo! I'm going to do one more and then push back again. Let's go ahead and push up to that plank. Find our puppy or dog. Or child pose. Now let's come back and have a seat. There we go. So let's go ahead and take our legs out in front. We'll pretend we've done our hard work for the day. Well, we don't have to pretend we did. <laughs> so here again, I'm just going to let my feet be kind of soft. And one thing we want to do if we are nursing an injury, especially at a joint, um, if you happen to have it wrapped up or casted, of course there's not much you can do, but since I do have a little more freedom of movement here, I'm going to add a little bit of a massage, and actually this feels good for everybody. Massaging these muscles, it'll help loosen up and avoid any stiffness that usually comes when we're injured. We tend to hold whatever body part and the areas surrounding it stiff. So let's see what we can do to release that a little bit self-love here. And then we'll come back to our easy seat. And let's go ahead and take our legs wide. Now let's take a reach up and a stretch over. So for now, our feet are soft. We can push our sit bone into the floor while reaching for the ceiling. And we can even work our neck here by looking up and then down. So we can basically look from our hand to our shoulder or the floor. Now let's come back up. We'll take this to the other side. So again, press that sit bone and reach up. And let's take that look up at our hand, down to the floor, see how our neck is feeling today. So even though we can't work our feet and toes, we can still work our head. And bring that up. Let's take a little walk down the center. And as you see, I'm not going to go as far today. For all means, kiss the floor if you want. So let's take this to a little twist. So I'm actually going to bring my feet straight out forward. If you want to, you can bring one foot in like this. And we're going to take a twist toward the bent knee. You inhale up tall, reach the opposite end. And let's exhale, half to the outside of that leg. And then see if we can look over our shoulder. Our other hand is up near our bottom, so it keeps our spine tall. And let's release from here. And if you do have one leg bent, now you want to bend the other one. And let's take this to the opposite side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Let's unwind from here, shake it out. 
So we're going to reach our hands back. Let's clasp and really open our chest here. Another option we have is to take our fists down behind and kind of leverage on the floor to open our chest. Let's take some very deep breaths here. Let's very carefully roll on down to the floor. So we usually take support underneath one leg anyway. Make that one the one. We roll on back. And I'm not going to kick it out today with my legs really. But we can still do arms. Now let's go ahead and take our feet to the ceiling while we do this. And then just do a little line here. So again, elevating our feet like this should feel good. Even if you don't have an injury, oftentimes we do get a lot of swelling in our feet anyway, wear those things. So this is a good way to nurture those particular ailments. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at stretching the hip because I wind up doing a lot of sitting right now. So I'm gonna try to uh, work out some of the tightness that's happening here. So I can still do that figure four because it's just my ankle that's going to go here. But I'm also going to be very careful about how far I pull this in. Pull it in as far as it's comfortable. We're going for that stretch in the hip. sensation and we have slight pain sensation and then just let it rest relax and stretch so taking our feet back up again let's go ahead and take it wide and I don't know about you but I always get a slightly different sensation in my feet and legs when I take them wide in an inversion like this so just notice how that feels. Now we're going to go around this up. So we can keep our feet there. You can rest your uh, feet on the floor, knees up. We're going to do a little bit of core work here. So for crunches. Because we can still, again, work our upper body and we can begin to take it wide. Oh, there we go. Add some chest work while elevating our future foot. Allowing that swell to come out. And let's release from here very carefully. We're going to bring our feet down to the floor. And this is a good chance for fish pose. Hands underneath. Walking under. Ah. And then we'll lift up and take the crown of our head down. That way our feet are resting on the floor. We've got our chest opening. Let's take a few deep breaths. And lift up and tuck. And we'll roll down. So I'm going to do an easy, slightly different twist today. So let's squeeze our knees together. Open our arms wide. And just feel which part you're comfortable with. If you want to take your legs all the way down, great. I'm going to let my thigh in the air a little bit here with a slight offset. So there's no pressure on that one foot. Keep breathing, it's hard. This is actually working your core a little bit more too. Let's come back to the center. And then just a slide a little bit to the other side or just let your legs rest on the floor like usual. I've still got knee on top of knee here. Let's bring this up. And we'll take this down for final relaxation. So if you have a pillow or something you want to put on your feet for today, I'm actually going to take my feet 
move that into the air for final relaxation. Legs up the wall is good for this as well. So let's find a place where we can relax, let everything go for a few moments. Closing our eyes. And then just completely releasing our feet. Let them relax. Softening our toes. Releasing any tension in our legs. Releasing our arms and chest. Leaving a little space in our jaw and just seeing if we can relax. Allow some healing energy to enter our body as we rest. Oftentimes we suffer an injury because we didn't take the rest that we needed. So let's take a moment to rest here. Stay as long as you want. And just remember the longer you stay there, the longer you want to take time out of it. Let's go ahead, wiggle our fingers and toes, and we're doing a wiggle. And maybe just an easy roll of our legs, or at least one. And then bring ourselves back up. We're going to just roll to one side, take it easy. Again, offset the feet. Make sure we feel ready, and we'll press up. And we'll come back to that seat that we started with. Whatever's comfortable. And just take a moment with some deep breaths into our nose. And just notice what we're feeling anywhere in our body. But if we are dealing with some pain or an injury somewhere, just notice how that body part is feeling. Hopefully a little better. Hopefully the rest of our body is feeling better. As always, I appreciate you joining me. Do let me know in the comments below if you would like to look at some yoga for injuries, other injuries, and let me know specifically what injury you might be dealing with. Um, remember, any surgery that you have is also an injury. So let me know if there's anything that you want to look at a little further, some ways to continue to kind of keep up your strength and energy and flexibility even while you're dealing with an injury.